So the time is now um, 10.24 p.m. on a Thursday night and here we are about an hour's walk up the sticks. Hayden's having a great time <laughs> as you can see. About as good a time as I am. <laughs> the, um, yeah, the carry system's never comfortable. Never comfortable. And yeah, I think we've got quite a wee way to go still. Unfortunately, you can't really see it all, but there's some really pretty mountains around and some stars. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we are. You guys are going to have to put up with me shining lights in your faces, right? Just so this camera can pick it up. Tim, you got to look at the camera. Ah, oh, hold up. There's Tim. <laughs> okay, and here is Hayden. Hey, Dale. Woohoo! Right? Awesome. So here we are. This is uh, the 6th of October 2011. And we've come up with a genius plan, which involves walking up the sticks. But tell us about it, Hayden. What are we doing? Well, we thought we'd go for a bit of a wander up the sticks because you know the scenery. I mean, look at it. <laughs> yeah, look at it. <laughs> look at it. Around here, John. It's pretty beautiful. <laughs> isn't it? I mean, if we can see the last oh, bits oh. of fading daylight over there in the well, horizon, though. Come here and do this. <laughs> so we're just going to wander for about eight, nine kilometres, I think. Yeah. And we thought we'd take our kayaks for a walk. Yeah, well, normally we use them, so now yeah. it's just, you know, they want to go for a bit of a scenic trip. Yeah, so we're going to head on up to the hut for a bit of a day trip. <laughs> take the boats for a bit of a walk. Get a little bit tired along the way. Then we're going to camp up there and then cross over the Sticks Saddle early tomorrow morning for a big mission out the Arahura. It's going to be all time. Until the novelty wears off, at least anyway. <laughs> Probably about a kilometre or so down the track. But yeah, no, it's going to be good. We'll keep you posted. Okay, so here we are. Same trip. Time is now. As you can see, pretty much bang on midnight in 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I'm pretty stuffed. So I think everyone else is as well. We're pretty nailed. We've been walking for about nearly three hours now. And I think we are roughly somewhere just past Midstick's hut which is about here um, yeah roughly about there I mean you've got about another four hours to go so hopefully we'll be in our hut before two o'clock in the morning if it goes well but yeah Hayden and Tim have just gone off to get a drink I'm pretty stuffed Hayden is exhausted so it's Tim, so we're all in fine spirits here. At midnight, somewhere up the Styx Valley. Tomorrow's gonna be epic though. This is why we do it. Give me a scud any day. Scud, I miss ya. If I, you're not quite the same. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me another painful, miserable update shortly. Anyway, Ciao. so for the camera, we're, uh, Looking at the map, trying to work out where we are. We've been going for a good couple of hours now. Having um, a lot of fun along the way. <laughs> having a lot of fun dragging these boats through slips, <laughs> falling in some trees and things. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I guess we should keep missioning on. Yeah. We're and not at the hut yet. <laughs> it's after midnight. And uh, yeah, paddling to tomorrow, hopefully. Extreme tramping. Hardcore. And this is actually carrying on a bush day, isn't it? Really? <laughs> this is two days. <laughs> Video diaries, take four, I hate them. <laughs> the good news is, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> the bad news is, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> the bad news is, I'm already, already dead. <laughs> Tim, how are you? <laughs> how am I? Well, on the good news side, we're over halfway. The bad news side, we're not very far over halfway. We are however a little way over halfway. That's just also good news. The other good news is we definitely have something epic to tell everyone about. Yeah. The bad news is we're currently climbing a very large hill, <laughs> which I didn't think was going to be on here because it's not really shown on the map. <sighs> and the other bad news is it is currently quarter past one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we have to be up probably to leave by 7 30 tomorrow morning. Yeah, you'll probably hear from us in another hour's time. <laughs> Video, <laughs> Video diary, who knows what? Time is now 2 40 pm 
The show we should be close by now. And it now is the 7th of October rather than the 6th and we're still walking. Still no sign of the hut. And we don't really have a clue where we are to be perfectly honest. This was only supposed to take four hours and we've now been walking for over yeah, over six hours now. <laughs> so I think it might be the fog. Summer side streams coming in. We're all pretty naked. Yeah, as you can see, some of cross fingers. This is the fog and mattress to sleep on is close by. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, Woohoo! Tramping. This is why we do it. We do it for the love of it. So here we are. Time is now 3.42 in the morning. Still no sign of the bloody hut. So we've been scrambling through the bush. We're completely lost. You have no idea where we are really. We thought we were close to the hut, but it turns out we're not. We're just next to this little river here. You can't really see. Honestly, it turns out we're going to have to bivvy the night out. I unfortunately don't even have a sleeping bag. I just bought a silk liner, so I'm going to breathe. Sweet. Caden's having a good time. Yeah, Woo. it's all good. I had a couple of, a bit of a grandpa nap before, now yeah. I'm feeling much better. So now yeah. we're going to crash out. Loving life at 3.42 yeah. in the morning. Got a big day tomorrow as well, still got to get over the saddle. What's more, we don't have a clue where we are. <laughs> Could be paddling the sticks before. We'll keep you posted. Uh, from here, good night. Over. Good morning, camera. Here we are on the banks of the um, Upper Sticks River. As you can see, boats dragged up pretty high here. Um, didn't get into here till about half three, quarter to four this morning. Here we have Hayden, hey, loving life, and Tim as well. <laughs> a great night's sleep, enjoyed by all. And now we've got to go and try find the saddle somehow. Yeah, so putting on wet polyprops. It was a great night, Bivy, and we're probably about to discover that the tent was agonised. Oh, the hut was agonisingly close. Yeah. I don't know. Pretty tight. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe really far away, just to make it even more difficult. Woo! It's going to be a big day. Hopefully, it's okay. Here we are on the um, upper sticks. We decided not to go up the um, up the Arahur anymore because we ran out of water. Oh no, we ran out of time really. And we couldn't really be bothered well walking, so instead we're cruising down the sticks. Again, some fun water. Here we go, four in places. Real super tight technical. The hefe is getting an absolute pounding. And yeah, we probably ported things like we're pounding. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. We'll get some video soon. Uh, here we are. We've made about a kilometre of progress, and we've finally decided to go for a bit of a walk. How are you feeling today, Hayden? <laughs> yeah, we're about to shoulder the boats for the next little while. It's got them pretty steep and gnarly down there. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's lots of surfs, lots of blind jobs, and lots of river-wide trees, so we decided we're going to go for a bit of a walk instead. Should be good. Definitely not classic West Coast boating currently. No. Unless, of, although the walking kind of does yeah. have a West Coast atmosphere yeah. to it. Nice to be up here anyway. Time's 10 o'clock in the morning. Daylight saving time, because we're now in daylight saving time. And we are operating off three and a half hours of sleep. Yeah, probably not even that actually. Yeah. As you can see, beautiful waterfalls, what a sick place. It's only my kite because about 10 kg flight. Put the chains on the car, put them on the front wheels, did the trick, 
We uh, used the chains to get the car out, worked real well, lots of extra traction, it's pretty muddy. But uh, yeah, we're battered and bruised and it's been an epic mission. On to the Makanui tomorrow and hopefully not too late at night tonight, but we've got lots of gear to sort out, so we'll see. Catch you next time.